Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back for a, another Ginyu Force special training video. This one is for Jice. So um, we have this over here. Jice is going to be the Wednesday to Thursday card. This card will be available every Wednesday and Thursday. And of course, all weekend it's open. All of them are open. Um, again, so this is a pretty cool card. I, um, honestly, they're all going to be like subpar in terms of the type of damage they do because they are all free to play units. Um, but he is available if you find a Thouser, whatever, for some reason, I don't know why they picked Thouser, but when you find a Thouser, uh, you will get a guaranteed card drop, just keep on running this event. This card will also feed into the other Jice that's in the car in the, in the game, that's uh, the SR, I think is the only one that would kind of, you might want to use for collective purposes. I keep all my SSRs, or sorry, my SRs for collective purposes, because some of them actually token awaken to SSRs, if they haven't, some of them will do it in the future. Uh, pretty standard like all the other events, if you find the Nimbus Cloud, it will bring you to, over to the, um... Or if you choose to go down the path of the Nimbus Cloud, it'll bring you over to the path where you get additional uh, potential orbs. Honestly, going down 30 times, 30 times is usually just perfect for getting all the orbs that you need. I, most of them I've done has been 29 um, attempts at the event, and the 30th is just a quick run through to the, the star without going into the battle um, in order to get it. But um, you get all the potentials in the same exact order as all the other ones. The left path is going to be small orbs, middle is medium, right is large. Total potential orbs needed, as you see right over here from the wiki. By the way, shout out to the wiki. Uh, it's going to be 5,740 orbs for small, 3,150 for medium, and 301 large. A lot smaller than the Captain Ginyu required. Um, weekly events, yeah, that's available every week. Uh, final set of pads in this order are small, medium, large, just like everything else. Uh, once you get him 100% in the hidden potential system, you get one Grand Elder Kai, which is cool for uh, strength units. Uh, and you get all these other units over here. You need to clear it at least 30 times in order to get the medals to Dokken Waken him, so keep that in mind. You make sure you have to run it. There's no other way to get these medals, at least at this time in the game. Um, and you get to get Birder, Guldo, Captain Ginyu, Jice, and Rakum all 100% in the hidden potential system in order for you to get this LR Captain Ginyu card. Now, I said that in my other videos. I will say it in all my videos that I do about this un these units. Uh, that's what you need to do, so make sure you get your guys 100%. You don't need to do it as soon as they come out. I did my Captain Ginyu. That's the only one I actually had time to do the first week. Um, so it depends on when you watch this. I probably already have them 100% if you're watching this like a week afterwards. Um, this is the actual unit over here, Crush and Conquer Jice. Um, now, I kind of already told you in my last video, pretty much everyone except for Guldo, you can give crits. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about it. So he is his leader ability is Strength Type, Key plus 1, HP, Attack, and Defense plus 25%. Uh, super Attack is Crusher Ball, Extreme Damage, Enemy raises Allies Attack by 20% for one turn. His passive skill is Scouter Reading, Enemy Class, Allies, Key plus 1, Attack plus 15%, and he foresees the enemy's Super Attack, which is pretty damn cool. You can see when the enemy is launching a Super Attack. Um, it really depends on if you want to have him run on your main... Um, on your main units or not or whatnot uh on main rotation or whatnot uh, just because uh, it's cool to see when the enemy's gonna do the super attack but honestly uh, unless you like have other reasons to run a full ginyu force team chances are you're only going to use it on specific events that are required or if you're just doing some basic grinding because you like the ginyu force on regular events you're not going to really need to worry about it too much you're not going to really take them on any dokkan event um, unless you're taking them on like the older events maybe something like that they might become more a little bit useful for but none of the new stuff um, anyway, uh, link skills are the Ginyu Force Signature Pose Tag, Team of Terror, Brainiacs, and Fleet. Categories are Planet Namek Saga and Ginyu Force, so they can fit on both of them. Um, and um, because they, again, like with the Captain, or with the, uh, oh, actually all the other units that I've done so far, because you're going to be getting their own unique potential system, that's right, their orbs are unique to their cards. Uh, if I didn't say that earlier in the video, uh, I'm just going to go over their max un unlocked potential. So HP is 10,800, attack is 9898, and defense is 6853 with a 125 12 key multiplier. Um, pretty much that's about it. You require five Jice medals to get him Doken Awakened. Again, as I said before, you need to go and get the beat the event 30 times in order to get all 30 of the Jice medals or all uh, five of those Jice medals. Uh, he Doken Awakens into Pride of the Force Jice. Leader ability is Strength Type Key plus two, HP attack and defense plus 30%. Super attack is Crusher Ball, supreme damage to the enemy, raises allies attack by 20% for one turn. <clears throat> Passive skill, target acquired. Extreme class allies, key plus two, attack plus 20%. So honestly, even if you're not going to run him on like a, uh, on, a, on, a on your primary rotation, he's very good for support. And he's also really good, not even just for a Ginyu Force team or a Planet Dynamics Saga team, for a Villains team, because he does do that nice, decent support for extreme type characters. You can run him a mono extreme team. Now, obviously, he's not going to be your primary unit you're going to want to run in there just because there are other better support units that you could run. But if you are lacking, he is still a very good choice. 
Uh, link skills are the Ginyu Force, Signature Pose, Tag Team Terra, Brainiacs, Flea, and then he gains Shattering the Limit. He remains on the same two categories. His max on potential, his max uh, unlocked potential is HP of 11,386, attack of 10,130, and defense of 7,068. Um, 12 key multiplier was bumped up to 135%, and when he super attacked 10, his super attack multiplier increased by 20%. Um, so that's pretty awesome right there. Uh, so pretty much, honestly, I, again, you can give him crits. I saw some people giving him dodge just because he is a support unit and they want to make sure that he doesn't get hit all the time. So that's also another viable option. If you want to see your enemies, um, uh, enemy super attacks and you want to run him on primary rotation, uh, and let's say you run him on the first slot and you're going to run him on the first slot, you could also give him uh, double attacks because his primary attack, his super attack, increases all allies' attack by 20%. And so if he launches a double super, that's a 40% attack buff. Uh, and on top of that, the passive skill buff as well. So keep that in mind. Uh, honestly, I'm just going to give mine crits because why the heck not? I don't see my, myself ever running it except for it's like a prime battle. And uh, when it's a, because if it's a prime battle, I honestly, you're just going to need the crits for it because he's going to be doing a lot of damage. Unless they come out with a new prime battle that the enemy is a lot more dangerous. Uh, or a lot like, you know, higher health, higher defense or something like that. But even then, I mean, I feel like crit is going to be a little bit better for them because they're going to do more damage. But um, anyway, guys, that's it. Thank you for joining me here. Make sure to subscribe if you are new. Uh, let me know if you need have any questions or you need any help with anything. Um, I will be doing all of the five of these. So if you're interested in any of the other units, they will have their own separate video. But anyway, guys, again, thank you for joining me here today and I will catch you later. Peace.